हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फ्यू बेसिक कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट्स एंड वी टॉक्ड अबाउट डिफरेंट कोडिंग स्टाइल्स व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस दैट कम्स विद डिफरेंट कोडिंग स्टाइल्स फॉर ए सेम सर्किट वी सेड दैट दे आर गोइंग टू यूज डिफरेंट रिसोर्सिस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दोज रिसोर्स मेजरमेंट्स that means how can we estimate the area and power to be taken by my circuit in vivado itself so we are going to talk about what is the area or resource on an fpga how can we check the resource utilization how can we generate the power report in a project so all of this when the project is implemented and synthesize so let us get started so first of all let us talk about the area or resources we had discussed that fpga basically consist of thousands and maybe millions of clb clb means configurable logic blocks these clbs are made up of lookup tables and fpga is also having a fixed number of input and output ports which are also called io ports in short when we synthesize the design then we utilize certain number of input output ports we utilize certain number of clbs so we should have the estimate that if i want to implement this system on a particular fpga whether it is feasible or not if i need 40 input and output ports but my fpga is only having 32 that means it is not feasible to work using this particular fpga i should select something else similarly if the number of clbs required for my system is 10000 but i have only 5000 clbs on my board so then i should change my decision so this is the reason why the resource estimation is very important we are going to generate the utilization report after synthesizing and that will help us in deciding whether we should continue with this board or not we had described the basic architecture where we are having the complete fpga having a lot of clbs input output ports and few input output ports and the clbs are used for making a system the second aspect that we have is the power estimation clb elements which we are going to use they will consume some power that is called static power static power means when the circuit is not running but it is still consuming some power and when the input and outputs are changing then the wires will carry the signal the current will change and then we will have dynamic power consumption so we are going to have two types of power consumption that is static and dynamic in addition the ambient condition the type of material of our fpga semiconductor and all of this will also decide that how much power will be consumed when this circuit will run at 25 degree celsius ambient temperature or 35 degree celsius or minus 5 degree celsius so all these factors we have to take into the consideration after implementation of the design we can generate the power report and we can estimate that how much power my system will consume so now let us go to vivado and check that how to generate both these reports for the resource utilization as well as the power estimation so we are at the same project where we were working in the previous video so i have this ripple carry adder so what we are going to do first of all we are going to make sure that for simulation and for the design in both the places this is the top module okay now we have to synthesize 
टू जनरेट द रिसोर्स यूटिलाइजेशन रिपोर्ट वी हैव टू सिंथेसाइज अवर सर्किट सो दिस इज टॉप मॉड्यूल गो टू सिंथेसिस एंड क्लिक ऑन रन सिंथेसिस इट मे आस्क बिकॉज आई हैड रन द सिंथेसिस अर्लियर ऑल्सो इट विल आस्क दैट डू यू वॉन्ट टू री रन द सिंथेसिस सो आई विल से ओके बट इफ यू आर रनिंग द सिंथेसिस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट विल डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट लाइक दिस एंड इट कैन टेक सम टाइम हेयर इट इज ऑल्सो आस्किंग दैट वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू स्टोर द सिंथेसिस रिजल्ट एट सम प्लेस सो वी विल से येस सो नाउ इट इज जनरेटिंग द सिंथेसिस रिपोर्ट एंड एवरीथिंग अगेन इट कैन टेक सम टाइम you should keep an eye on this corner here it is showing that running the synthesis design so do not worry it is going to take a minute or two so be patient here you can also monitor the progress by going to tcl console here you will see the updates whenever you press the run synthesis it will show that what is happening and where the logs are being captured some error and all they will be indexed under the message section or the log section so you can see that logs are being updated so whatever is happening it will update in the log section and tcl console will show the final result location and everything so you can keep an eye here and now the synthesis is done the next step is to run the implementation after the synthesis you can see the resource utilization after the implementation you can see the power reports also so let us complete both of them and then we will review both the reports so we will run the implementation also and again because i am running the implementation for the second time so it will ask for the location and we'll start it so again you have to keep an eye here synthesis is complete and now it is initializing the implementation so it will show here and logs and tcl console will keep showing you the updates implementation process may take slightly longer time as compared to synthesis as we are going to do the optimization for routing and all in this process so keep an eye here and be patient when the implementation is going on once the implementation is completed you will get this message do you want to open the implemented design generate the bitstream which is actually the next step or view the reports we will go to these two later in the next sections but right now either you can click on view reports or you can just say cancel also okay so let us say we go to view reports and click on okay so where are the reports if you don't find them on your page always go to project manager okay here you will go to project summary scroll down and here you see the synthesis is done complete there was one warning implementation is done there were 12 warnings but there was no error when it come to drc violations drc means design rule check so these are all mentioned and we scroll down and we see here the resource utilization is number of lut's only 1% and input output 7% so it will not show you the number but it will tell you in terms of percentage that means we are hardly using only 1% of the available lut's or clbs so definitely we can use this board input output ports also we are using only 7% so that is also fine and here we have total on chip power 3.049 watt if the junction temperature is this much thermal margin is this much and all these if you want to read these reports in detail then you can click here okay click here and now it is generating that report and it will show every aspect so now the report is the not this one but here on the down side okay you can just pull it up this is actually our implemented design we'll talk about that when we talk about fpga implementation that how to read 
these kind of images but when you look down then you can see total power is this this is the junction temperature and all and out of total power only 6% is static 94% is dynamic okay and all other things that you will get if you want to change any parameter i want to have a different junction temperature or ambient temperature and then i want to estimate that how much power my device is going to consume for that we come to the implementation tab and so here then we will make our own report again so i go to report power and here are the default settings if we change it let us say we change the temperature to 35 and if you know any of these parameters you will be aware about these when you join the industry and you are given these minute details right now these are the default working conditions and if you want to change the power supply or switching time and rate all these things if you want to change anything just change them and then we say ok and the report will be generated again ok based on this and now you can see there is a slight change here and even these percentage is changed so by changing these parameters you will get an estimate that what is going to be the power estimation and the resource utilization for my given circuit so these are the normal conditions everything is working fine we are happy but if you find that the resource utilization is more than my device capacity then what should i do in that case we will replace the board so how to do that click on this board in the project summary okay and wait and here you change the device simply okay that is the decision you can make even after making the project so you can change your device when you are running the synthesis implementation also you realize that this device will not be sufficient for me and you can change it so if i take another board here you have to click here and it will again show you the same browsing option and this time instead of z board i take this rtx board and i click ok i say apply and it will say that we are going to modify a lot of things and i am going to generate a new synthesis report earlier it was synth 1 now it will be synth 2 and it is applying those changes and we say ok so now all the changes will be applied and we have to run the synthesis again you can see the synthesis is blank so we will run the synthesis again give a new location file and then you say ok and we start the synthesis process again so based on the new device we are going to get the utilization percentages so here we can see with the new device i am using almost same number of lut's but only 4% of ios earlier we were using 7% of ios so this is how you can decide which fpga board to take and similarly when you run the implementation you will get the new power estimation also because now the board is different so students now we have a good idea about the simulation synthesis and implementation and how to get resource and power estimation there is one more aspect to the very low coding and that is writing customized test benches we'll talk about that in our next video keep learning thank you